Hi. Welcome to Tennis Raider Christmas. So continuing on with our Falcon Player Series, let's load up some sequences, create some playlists, and create the schedule. Continuing on with the content setup menu, uh, file manager playlists and scheduler is what I will cover. Plugins and script repository browser are advanced functions you can look into if you need additional functionality. Uh, so first on the file manager. So this is where when you upload something, all your files will uh, be, the FSEQ files will be here, the audio files will be here, video if you upload any videos, effects, scripts, logs. When you want to uh, upload stuff, uh, I've got a few SF FSEQ files and some audio. You can just drag and drop them. You can do several at a time if you want and they will all just begin uploading. Uh, when they're done, you just close them. And I've chosen some small files. Um, a lot of my sequences are about a gig, so it would take a very long time to do this, but I've chosen some test files uh, just to kind of just show you what's going on. I guess the light test is a little bit longer. And we're done. All right, so these are the sequence files that I have. This is the audio file that I uploaded. So I don't have any video files that I uploaded, but they would show up here. So that's really all the file manager is. If you want to delete one, just hit that. Hit uh, delete, you can download it, rename it, whatever you want to do here. You can drag and drop or you can hit select files and find it, you know, the uh, same way. Go to content setup and playlists. Now we have no playlists here. So let's just create a test playlist and I'll click add. So now we have an empty playlist. You see there's nothing in this playlist down here. Test is selected. So if I want to add uh, a sequence to it, uh, you have several options here. You can do media and sequence, which is probably what most of you will use. You can do media only, sequence only. Uh, there is a bunch of new stuff. The rest of this stuff is kind of new. Branching, channel read map, uh, dynamic, event, MQTT. Events you used to have to do differently, um, but I didn't use them anyway, so I'm not really sure. MQTT is if you've got home automation stuff set up, you can send MQTT messages possibly receive them, I don't know. Uh, pausing, changing the volume, plugins, scripts, and, and URLs. Um, so I'm just gonna go with media and sequence. Um, and that's the only MP3 file I have. It didn't choose the same sequence. I don't know why that is. Uh, there is no video. I'm going to disable that. I'm gonna click add. And so it shows up here. So there's nothing, I don't have anything on this playlist that's, that's happening before the playlist. Um, it's just going to play this, this uh, audio file and this sequence. And then you hit save. Uh, if you want to rename a file, then we'll just call that test one. Hit save and you'll see that it renamed it up here. So this is uh, really pretty much how you create, manage playlists. If you have playlists from last year and you want to upgrade them to this current year, go to playlists and uh, the, you'll see this button here that says convert FPP 1.x to JSON. So there's just a new file format for the playlist this year and you need to upgrade them. So if you get old playlist, hit this button. Uh, it'll tell you that it converted all those playlists. And now you see that you have CSV playlists and then you have the current playlist. The current, the, the CSV, the old playlists will not play with the current version of FPP. So you need to upgrade them. Uh, once you do this, I'm assuming you have backups so you can just delete them. If you don't have backups, please take a backup before you do this. 
And then I'm going to modify this playlist, say, because there's no reason to have the day or the year. Okay. So those are my four playlists for that will be going forward this year. Let me see if they play the radio music, uh, radio music. Ah, it does play. Okay. And then finally we will go to scheduler and oh, once you, once you have a playlist created, you can go to uh, the, the status page and select your playlist and you can actually play it. Since you don't have any output set yet, you really won't do anything, but you can at least test to see if it works. And it's playing. Okay. So I will stop now. So scheduler. We want to add a schedule. Uh, now it defaults to 1-1-2014 and ends 12-31-2099. So this is basically, this will run all the time. Uh, start time is midnight, end time is midnight, runs every day. So let's just save this. And I'm going to go back to the status page and I'm going to restart FPPD and it should start that playlist. It does not. So that's one issue about the playlists that I believe is an open bug or the scheduler. So the end time actually has to be 23, 59, 59 to be the end of the day. Uh, I know there has been some talk about fixing that. I don't know if that is supposed to be fixed or not. I'll hit save. I'll go back to the status page. I will restart FPPD again. And we've started playing. So, and that's what's supposed to happen with that playlist. So you can, with the scheduler, you can do a lot of uh, different things. Hold on. So with the scheduler, you can set up, uh, you know, I've got a couple of different schedules. So I've got a couple of playlists that I'll play. Actually, I got one that plays uh, during the week of Thanksgiving. One moment. In my setup, I've got a couple of different playlists. Actually, let me go create some fake playlists here. Uh, we'll do a Thanksgiving. And we'll do a up tempo and we'll do a mellow and so these are just blank playlists but it will allow me to uh, show you what's going on here so we'll do the Thanksgiving playlist and let's get up to 2018 and we'll say it starts Monday and we'll go back to 2018 and we'll say that it runs through Thursday night and I think it starts at like 530 and runs until uh, what is that eight nine ten we'll run it till 10 o'clock and we'll save that and then I'll add another one the the up tempo one and that's that runs every day starts at 5:30 we'll run that till 7:30 and we'll save that and then we'll add one more and that's the mellow one it'll start at 7:30 or 1930 and runs till 2200 save so that's pretty much my schedule with the exception of the test uh, oh I also have uh, what's the wrong thing? I also have a radio playlist that just plays audio music uh, during the day 
just to keep it from keep the transmitter playing something uh, so I will add a schedule for that uh, and that runs midnight to 1730 Add, and then I have to add another one. Oops, what did I do wrong? That's the radio playlist. Midnight to 7.30. Excuse me, 17.30. And then the radio playlist from 2200 until midnight. And so that's pretty much how my playlist looks with the exception of this test playlist. Let me get rid of that. Click that, hit delete, hit save, we're good to go. So that's that's kind of what my playlist looks like. I hope through configuring all of that you kind of get the gist of how to set this up. It's really just kind of thinking about when you want things to kick off. And that's about it for the content setup. So if you have any questions, post them below. I hope you found some of this information useful. As always, if you have questions, leave them below. I'll get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.